like you're running out of air when you speak? Can you hear hints of breathiness between your sentences? Does your voice sound as if it's sort of stuck in the back of your throat? Do people have difficulty hearing you? These are signs that you might need some help with vocal projection. First, let's define projection. Projection is not volume. Volume is what you use at a ball game or at a concert or when you're feeling angry. And while volume makes sense in those situations, it can come across as a little too intense for everyday workplace interactions. Now you will gain some volume when you project your voice, but projection is really about focusing your voice forward so your listeners can not only hear you, but receive a voice that's full, round, and warm. In short, projection will ensure your voice is both powerful and approachable. Good projection requires three things proper body positioning, proper breathing, and a wider open mouth posture on the vowel sounds. Let's start with body positioning. First, sit or stand upright. Open your chest a bit to expand your lungs. That will set you up for good breathing. Next, untuck your chin. If you're in an open space environment and you don't want to disturb your colleagues or you want a conversation to remain private, you might tuck your chin and conceal your body to ensure others don't hear you. But guess what? With proper body positioning, you can still project your voice without getting loud. It might surprise you that the lower half of your body can impact your voice too. So if you're standing, make sure your knees aren't locked. Have the slightest bend in them. And if you're sitting, uncross your legs and keep your feet flat on the floor. Just like a kink in a hose can prevent a steady stream of water, a kink in your body can prevent steady supplies of blood and oxygen to your lungs. Which brings us to proper breathing. Let's try a little experiment together. If you're not already standing, go ahead and stand up. Overextend your knees backwards by flexing your thigh muscles. Your legs should feel like rigid straight lines. And now take a breath in and out from your mouth. And now unlock your knees, keep them loose and relaxed, and take another breath in and out. Were you able to take a breath that was deeper when your knees were unlocked? For me, the difference is significant. By the way, this is why they tell brides standing on altars and choir singers standing on risers to avoid locking their knees. You can actually pass out from locking them. Now that your body is in the proper position for optimal breathing, it's time to add the speaking part. The cadence between breathing and speaking should be inhale and then speak while exhaling. A lot of people inhale and then they hold their breath while they're talking and then in between sentences, audience members hear exasperated exhales which are very easily picked up by microphones. <laughs> Instead, take a sip of air through your mouth and from your diaphragm, the major breathing muscle in your torso. Use your exhale to send your voice forward. Picture your voice riding your exhale in an arc from your mouth to your listener's ears. Now, when you speak, you want to open your mouth a little bit wider to help it travel farther. Think of a megaphone. The wider the mouth at that end of that megaphone, that wide mouth helps sound travel longer distances. Let's put it all together. Get your body upright, sit or stand straight, unlock those knees or uncross those legs, untuck that chin, and now take a sip of air from your diaphragm through your mouth and exhale as you say, I'm sending my voice to you. Let's try that one more time. I'm sending my voice to you. One final note on projection. Some people hold their voice in the back of their throat. What results is this breathy glottal sound called vocal fry or glottal fry. This is a sign that you are not projecting your voice and it could damage your vocal cords over time. To project your voice and to ensure that the quality and sound are clear, make sure you position your body right, breathe from your diaphragm, and use that breath properly to send your voice forward.